Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you happen to be new around here, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to click on subscribe and click on the bell for more of our adventures here in Halifax. Today we're starting a four-part series. It's basically a guide to the various neighborhoods in Halifax, Pinfield or Halifax, yes. that is. We decided to start in our own neighborhood, kind of the main part of Halifax, downtown. <music> About a month or so ago, we did a video about moving to Halifax. So many of you have left comments, you've messaged us, you have lots of questions. So we figured we'd do a few videos, give you some more information about what Halifax is like, what to expect, and what the neighborhoods are like. We're here on the waterfront at the moment. It's one of the busiest places in Halifax. Great spot for a walk, especially on days like today. Lots of history down here as well. And you can see George's Island just out there. All right, do us a favor, everyone. Please hit the like button at the start of the video right now if you could it really helps promote the video and get it out there for others to see. But what a beautiful day here. It's April. I can't believe how nice it is. I know, it's gorgeous. And I just wanted to say if you just tuned into this video and you're not moving to Halifax, if you're traveling here, if you're just interested in it, if you're not interested in it, <laughs> whatever, I think you'll just still find this video yes. interesting and hopefully helpful. Especially post COVID when the world goes back to normal. All right, let's talk about who is living down here in the city. You can probably see buildings behind us. There are condos, there are apartments, there are some houses, mm -hmm. but I'd say the age range is all over the place. It is all over the place. A lot of people obviously that work downtown and want to not really have a commute live down here. Yeah. A lot of retired people as well who baby lived in the suburbs, had a big house and sold and live in a smaller condo now. Yeah, and of course there mm -hmm. are so many students, but they're usually here from like September to about the end of April mm -hmm. and then the city empties out and in non-pandemic uh, type of uh, then usually the tourists season, will come in. the yeah. tourists yeah. would be <laughs> here and this boardwalk would be very, very busy. So if you're now saying to yourself, why didn't they say how much it costs to live downtown? We've actually done a previous video on the cost of living in Halifax. You can click here, is it over here? You or here, it. here. <laughs> this side? No. This side? Yes. Okay. So right now we are standing in a place called Salt Yard and there are all these kiosks around. It's kind of like a food court type thing outside. There's everything from like ice cream to pizza to beaver tails to hot dogs. It's, it's a touristic area, but there's some local gems here as well. It's really strange right now. It's uh, not tourist season. Of course, no one could come here anyway, so they're all kind of shut down. But I assure you, in the summer, this is such a vibrant area. It's really fun to be here. We'll show you our favorite thing down here on this beautiful boardwalk. Take a look here. We have a beer garden, and I know a lot of you know that we like our craft beer. This place in the summer is amazing. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be taking you in a future video when everything opens, probably in a few weeks. So yeah. hopefully we'll have some good downtown Halifax summer videos. There's oh, also will. some construction happening. They're yeah. having like a new <laughs> wharf or something. And they well, are. I hope that'll be done by the summertime. It's a good time to do it. There's not as many tourists here right now, yeah. so they're adding on to the boardwalk in general, making more seating, making it even more beautiful. Take a look at this, how picturesque. <laughs> nice view on a beautiful day. By the way, I know a lot of you guys probably found us more recently through Halifax. Through, you may think of us as Halifax vloggers. We are actually travel vloggers. We've been to almost 50 countries. So normally we are visiting other places. So we have been to a lot of different countries, a lot of different cities, but I have to say that the Halifax waterfront is one of my favorite waterfronts out of any city that we've ever visited. Ah, hills, hills, hills is the story of this city. Yeah, so one thing you have to know if you are moving or even visiting downtown Halifax, it's basically built on a hill. We've lived downtown for like four months now, so do the hill pretty much every day and it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> so if you're wondering where we are right now, we are on Barrington Street. It's one of the most popular and probably the oldest in the city, I would say. It's a very old street, lots of interesting buildings, cool architecture, that kind of thing. Yep. Also restaurants, some shopping. The shopping, it's got about everything you need. If you're coming to Halifax, you're gonna end up on the street no matter what. So just off of Barrington Street is Grand 
parade square and if I turn here you'll kind of see how this is it's basically like a big open green space and there's like a town hall it's way like behind the it. main square of the city I guess yeah and there's lots of things that happen here there's events you can see there's just people hanging out a lot of people eat lunch here uh, in non COVID times again it's, it's pretty cool when they have concerts down in the city so on the other end of the square you're gonna find this church and there's an interesting story behind it I honestly don't know it very well if you're ever gonna come on a tour here or a walking tour that kind of thing I'm sure you'll find out all about it but there's a silhouette in one of these windows that's kind of burned into the glass some people think it might have been from the Halifax explosion the heat that happened there if you don't know what that is it's a huge explosion you can look it up that happened I think in 1917 Well, we can now officially welcome you to Argyle Street. Now, what's that street? It's one of the most popular streets that has restaurants, amazing nightlife, and well, it's pedestrian only, so it's a lot of fun to be down here. No cars, big fans. Yeah, and in the summertime, there's lots of stuff happening here. There's usually festivals, yep. concerts, bands playing, that kind of thing. Also, fun little story for you. Ooh. So this building right here, somewhat new. It's the Halifax Convention Center. I think it opened within the last couple of years, it's, but yeah. maybe you can take the rest of the story. <laughs> well, it used to be a different building. It took a long time for this to be constructed, but this is where we used to work, and this is where we met. Right there, in an old, <laughs> older building. All right, well, officially, I am starving. You guys know how this goes. We walk around for a while. It's just time to eat. When's the last time you've been to Pizza Corner? <laughs> I was trying to think about this. Uh, it's been years. So Pizza Corner, is a place if you're from Halifax, you're gonna know exactly what yep. this is. It's an area that has pizza almost on all the corners. Yes. It uh, is usually a late night after drinking spot, <laughs> which is not right now. I still can't believe we're about to do this. Check this out. This is a giant slice. There's my hand for uh, comparison. This is something you normally do. I used to do this long ago when I moved to this city. It's like a late night thing, like after the clubs. I still can't believe I'm doing this. I tried to get a slice of Donair, a Donair pizza. I know there's Donair as well. A lot of you have been asking about uh, us about that. We're gonna dedicate a video to like maritime food, but I wanted to show you a little glimpse today. All they have is cheese and pepperoni, so I'm just gonna go for it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Just taking me back. Mm-hmm. It still tastes the same as it did a very long time ago. You know what though? This is like classic street food kind of pizza is what I would call it. It's good. The pepperoni is crispy. This is kind of fresh. I it was just sitting there. You can order it by the slice. So I'm always worried like how long has it been out? But it's got lots of cheese. The tomato sauce is good. It's not my favorite pizza I've ever had. I always go for Italian authentic pizza. But what a beautiful day in Halifax. This is classic. Kind of just sit here against this wall like everyone else you might be able to see just to get some pizza in Halifax. How are you guys? They just stopped us on the street to say hello. <laughs> yeah, we seem to be getting recognized here and there and it's kind of fun to say hello. Yeah, what's your names again? I'm Luke. I'm Taryn. Yeah, what video did you find us on or you don't even know? Oh, uh, we watched that one where you guys went to the Airbnb out in, where was that? Lawrence Town? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. And the beaches yeah. one, that one was good. Nice. I don't know, we watched a lot of <laughs> Thanks, for, right. thanks yeah. for saying hello. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. They just uh, stopped to say hello. Thanks for doing that. If you guys ever see us in the street and you uh, watch our videos, make sure to say hi. Yeah, they were super nice to talk to. It's always fun to talk to you guys. But interesting thing about them, they are from Halifax. Yeah. This is always a, a weird thing. It seems like most of the people that we know in, in general move to Halifax at some point. Most people. Or maybe people that are from Halifax move away from Halifax. <laughs> All right, onward. We got more, of, uh, more to show you here. We're about to get up to Spring Garden Road. So right behind me is definitely what I would consider the coolest building in Halifax. It's the Halifax Central Library. It's really neat inside too. I don't know if we'll go in just because I know with COVID and stuff, we're keeping numbers pretty low, but it's very interesting inside. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. It's hard to capture this on camera, but if you look really close, the library is a giant stack of books. That's how it's shaped at least anyway. It's also all glass and it's just one of the most modern buildings we have here in the city and it's really cool that it's on Spring Garden Road of all places. Oh, I didn't want to recognize you in the front. Did you watch? <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. And then I just bumped into you guys and now I recognize you. Well thanks and for then saying when hi. Yeah, not a problem. And then when I seen the camera then I thought, okay. The camera gives it away, right? Yeah. yeah. Well the yeah. camera did a little bit. But it wasn't just the camera, it was the, the mic. The what, what's yeah. your name? Doug. Doug, thanks for saying hello, Doug. Yeah, not a problem at all. You guys have a great day. <laughs> That's way too funny. We got stopped by another person. He watches uh, our videos. He actually said, how are you guys the, the, the people that broke down on the side of the highway in the car? Yeah, if you haven't watched that video, make sure to go back and watch us get stuck in the highway for three hours. Mm -hmm. That's us. But thanks for saying hello. 
So right behind me is Spring Garden Road, definitely one of the most famous popular streets here in Halifax. Don't hold me to this, I think I know a fact that may or may not be true, that it's the busiest street east of Montreal. There's lots of construction happening on this street here, hence this, this is happening everywhere in Halifax. This street has mostly shops, I would say. There's some places to eat, but they're more smaller lunch spots. There isn't a lot of restaurants, there's a few on the street, but there are a lot of shops, some high-end ones as well. We are now in the Halifax Public Gardens, definitely the nicest piece of public outdoor space that we have in downtown Halifax. So pretty, kind of tranquil. It is April right now, so some things are starting to come out. I know we're always a little bit behind kind of the rest of the world in when, when spring hits, but I see some flowers, some blooms, buds are starting to come out on the trees, and again, it's a beautiful day. Usually there's a lot more ducks here, I was going to try to show you that, but what we have to say is one of our favorite parts about this space is how it's directly in the middle of the city. It's on Spring Garden Road, it's right where we just were, so you're never going to miss it if you're coming downtown to Halifax, but look at that. It's so tranquil here and it's very, very quiet, can't quite get over it, and I've lived here for a very long time. Check it out, we have uh, some flowers coming out already, do you know what those are? I think those are daffodils. I thought maybe we'd see some tulips, but I haven't. Maybe it's is it too early or too late for tulips? Definitely not a gardener. <laughs> it's April, so maybe someone can let us know. From afar, I would have said those are tulips. Yeah. <laughs> so some of the trees in the gardens here are hundreds and hundreds of years old. They're really, really old. Now, there's one here that was recently cut down, I think probably because of some storms. I'll show you this. Wow, this is, this is insanely big. Yeah, look how monstrous this, this guy was. He must have been old. He must have been old. Look at that. Wow. Honestly, this might be the biggest base of a tree I've ever, ever seen. So right behind me is a fountain. Looks really, really nice, but obviously it's not on yet. One thing that Halifax does not do well is that they we uh, rope off or fence off all of our fountains so you can't go out to the, up to them. I guess maybe we're all going to drown in them. I'm not really sure. <laughs> There's quite a few in the city. This sure. one just has a chain. Um, but I don't really know the reason for that. Maybe I'm someone sure watching can let us know. No, I'm sure it's they think that we're all going to drown in the fountain. <laughs> well, maybe we should let them in on something. Most cities that we've been to in the world, the fountains aren't roped off, guys. So back on the topic of real estate for a second, if I just turn here, you'll see uh, some high, brand new high rises behind me. This is called a curve, I believe. The curve. One side is called the curve, yeah. I guess. <laughs> so you'd have quite the view here of this park and you're, it's very central. And we talked about this in another video about just the prices. This place would probably start around half a million and up. Yeah, and then the apartments on the other side, I think are around, probably starting around $2,000 a month. But yeah. you're getting pretty nice view for that. And those uh, units, I know just from seeing the photos, would be absolutely gorgeous. And location, 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 right? <laughs> you just gotta have the money. Wow. <laughs> More hills and classic Halifax going on today. We're on our way up Citadel Hill and you'll see all these people kind of laying, having picnics, sunbathing. Yeah, tons of people, almost I've seen on this hill since last year. <laughs> This is pretty normal. If you live in Halifax and the sun comes out, even in April, heck, even in February, <laughs> you might see people up here. Okay, this is the workout of the day. Somehow we gotta work off this greasy pizza. I just, I'm, 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 uh, I'm out of breath, but we made it to the top. Well, here we are. We're coming up to one of the most famous and the most photographed items in all of Halifax. It's the iconic clock tower. It's kind of the like unofficial ambassador of the city, I would say. Yeah, I mean, Theodore was as well at one point. Oh, but Theodore, he's, boat. he's gone. He's gone. You guys won't get it if you're from Halifax. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all joking aside, but yes, we did have Theodore Tugboat in our harbor, but he is now gone. This clock tower is amazing. You can see it if you're right down uh, at the bottom of the waterfront, there's like a, a clear sight line all the way up here. Yeah, and we, we were in Grand Parade before. A lot of people will stand there. You have a perfect view of yeah. the clock towers. A lot, a lot of photos are taken there. The other thing about Citadel Hill in general, where this is at, is, well, there's also a big landmark up here, a very important one. Yeah, the National, the National Historic Site. It's a fortress inside. It's really cool. We've actually only been there really once, uh, <laughs> not long ago in one of our videos. We happened to walk in, but this summer we're going to have to go do a proper yeah. tour. I think we'll go be 
proper tourists in our city and go in there when everything's happening this, uh, this summer. So we can't be on top of Citadel Hill in downtown Halifax and not talk about the noon gun. It happens every single day, obviously at noon. It's a cannon that goes off. It's honestly really, really loud. And to this day, if we're nearby, I still kind of jump when it happens if I'm not prepared for it. And it is rather funny to be, if you are ready for it, to watch other people that are not from here jump when they hear it. Especially tourists. Yeah. Oh fun. my, the poor tourists. Mm -hmm. It is startling. <laughs> so as I've said maybe 50 times, it's a beautiful day. So I think we're just going to sit on the hill for a little while, be like everybody else and lounge and kind of <laughs> enjoy the very rare warm sunshine. Yeah, this is April right now. We're pretty stoked about it. Now, if you didn't catch it at the first of the video, this is going to be part one of a four part series. They likely won't come out in order, but we're going to take you around all the different neighborhoods, well, four of the neighborhoods, this one, um, on the peninsula mm -hmm. and kind of showcase each one because they're all very unique in their own way. It's gonna be a lot of fun to film, I would say. It is, and I can't remember, you might have just said it, but they probably aren't gonna be They're not four in weeks in a row. They're not no. in order. We do have some some things planned for the yeah. next couple weeks that we're gonna put out soon that'll be outside of the city. So we'll take a break from the guide, I guess, of Halifax and <laughs> yep. give you some other stuff. By the way, speaking of doing other things and going other places, some kind of crappy news. Yeah. Uh, if you've been following yeah. along. In, yeah. in real time, like yeah. if you're watching this in April right now or even May, mm -hmm. we talked about the Atlantic bubble and the whole pandemic. It's looking like now that might not happen. It's pushed out more. So for all you... It's getting pushed back and pushed back yeah. and things just aren't looking so great at the, the moment. There's been a lot of you guys messaging us about Newfoundland, New Brunswick. It's gonna likely have to be on pause for a little while longer, but um, yeah, if you're not watching the p pandemic, don't worry about that because hopefully yeah. this is years later I and that is over. I can't wait until people are watching this years later being like, oh, how, how weird that they're talking about the pandemic. So if you're new around here, make sure to click on subscribe, leave us a like, share the video, that really helps us out. Anna, Trevor, delightful travelers. If we missed anything today in the video in downtown Halifax and you're watching, let us know. Leave it in the comments for other people. Be, uh, be really <laughs> helpful to them. All right, guys, that's it. From Halifax, Nova Scotia, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.